Hello, friends and family, and welcome to the September 2nd Wednesday, is it Wednesday, edition of our Boring Meditation Stuff and our discussion about anxiety and meditation. Uh, today, I have a, a waning zit on my forehead, um, which is mostly noticeable because of my wonderful quarantine haircut <laughs> I've given myself um, and that's not terribly significant but there is a book by Dr. Sharad Paul where he discusses this idea that the skin is essentially a window into the health of the rest of our body and that we should really pay more attention to our skin as a sort of canary, uh, this warning system that can tell us when we're perhaps not as healthy as we should be or something might be going wrong. And I think that this idea is interesting. I, I don't have chronic acne like I did as a teenager. So when I find myself getting a pimple it's usually indicative that my diet is off or maybe I'm too stressed. Um, and it's helpful um, in an unpleasant way, but it is helpful that this tends to coincide with other warning signs. Um, and so my warning sign this week came in the form of me uh, responding too aggressively to someone, someone I barely knew, on the internet, of all places. Um, and afterward, I thought to myself, well, that was, that was poorly measured and unskillful. Um, and you try to apologize, but always, by the time you've said something, the damage is done. Um, and for me, at least, this is a good indication that it's time to meditate more <laughs> and perhaps that I've been getting lax in my practice um, in the past week or two uh, and in particular for a couple of days um, where I was completely neglecting my meditation practice. This is more obvious when a person begins meditating vipassana and particularly if they find they get a lot of value out of vipassana um, that you'll find the the value on one side and the the push on the other side um, a person will feel when not meditating uh, that perhaps life could be lived a little more effectively, a little more efficiently, a little more kindly. Um, and, uh, and it becomes really apparent when it sort of um, grows to a head, <laughs> as it were. Um, this may not necessarily be the case with your Anapana practice, but it's still worth noticing um, and I actually encourage you to run these sorts of experiments where for one week you do anapana every day uh, twice a day and for one week you just avoid it completely and make active note of how you feel in those weeks obviously there are other variables these aren't clean experiments um, but they're an interesting environment in which you can gather some empirical data for yourself. And uh, if nothing else, you can watch to see when you're getting some zits. All right, everyone, I hope you're taking good care of yourselves and taking good care of everyone around you. Um, I'll put up the links to the Anapana installation instruction videos since I haven't done that in a while. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.